Hey guys, it's David here, and today I want to make a special video that was highly requested where I show my spec gear and stats on my Monk for uh, 2012. And uh, you guys, a lot of you know my gear, but for those of you who don't know, I'll just show it all. So I have both sets. I have uh, the Devout Healer set, uh, which is T1, and the God's Favor set, which is T2. So I have 6 out of 6 for both of those. I recently got the Forgotten Power Gloves from... Uh, SPL, which is Millie Gloves, which I'd like if I was a Millie. Um, and then legs, shoes. I have the Silver Brooches, Silver Brooches Trinket, and the Gear Mastery for that. Uh, your healing spells have a 10% chance to increase your mana. And then I have the Divine Breath, 4 out of 4, and that gives you uh, 95 healing power. So I have the Amulet, and I have the Rain and the cloak, and the necklace, which are all bought for souls. And then I have the uh, magic excited rain, which increases crit, which is why I like it, and also has a stamina and wisdom. Although you could use the new EHL rain if you wanted. Uh, and then I have ember, which is from SPL, and uh, it's a wand, increases your spell crit, and then I also have dazzle, uh, which doesn't increase crit. And then as you guys know, I did a whole series what the fuck? People keep like, I keep getting Twitter notifications. I don't know why. I'm on someone else's account. Um, so I got the Lava Crystallized Relic first with that series I did. Uh, and also recently I got the Dream Literature from EHL, which has crit, healing, and wisdom. Uh, but I like the Relic better, obviously. And I have the Lava Crystallized Hammer, as you guys know, which I got from uh, that huge series that I made with all your guys' support, and uh, all those people showed up for the last episode, which is really cool. And then I also have Dying Power stuff. I have more gear. Whoops. I have more gear, but uh, that's basically all that I usually equip. And I have four out of six PvP gear as well. So that was kind of a pointless part of this video. Alright, so now let's get into talents. And a lot of people have asked for my spec. So uh, I have three points in Improved Rapid Healing, five points in... Uh, Devotional Grace, and then I went all the way through Restore to Revelation, um, and it it increases the cooldown time of Restore to 30 seconds, but at the same time, uh, it increases your healing effect by 25%. And then um, Selfless Muse increases mana regeneration, uh, Resurrect, then what else? I put 4 points into Suffering, because I also put points into Millie. Um, I would have put 5 into that, but it increases 4% 4, 4 of your mana when you do a crit. So that's why I also put 5 points into Temperance, which you really need. Because you get, uh, for every 1 for 10 points of mana regeneration, you get crit. So that's really important, and it increases your crit by a lot. Uh, Charity, then Reign of Healing all the way to there. Uh, Divine Light all the way to there. That's really helpful when you do... Uh, Rapid healing, because it says you have a 100% chance to decrease the cast time of Divine Light, which is usually a really long cast time, so you definitely need to use Rapid Healing first. Uh, divine Breath is definitely a must, and then increase your healing effect by 30% with Charity, and then uh, Prayer of Pure Faith. So that's all I have here. Uh, you're definitely going to need like 4 out of 5 if you want to spec into the melee part. So... Let me wait for this goddamn motorcycle outside. Alright, thank you for ruining the video. Okay, uh, so I did Blessing of Battle and then Improved Bless. And then Mantis Cudgel and Staff Master. You only need 1 out of 5 for this so that you can actually just uh, daze the target for 3 seconds. And then Tiger Claw Strike is one that I really like. Um, and then if you really want to get Dragon Tail Kick, you're going to have to sacrifice some Divine Points, but... It's worth it if you like to PvP a lot, and then I put 4 points into this. Uh, it increases your damage for Arrow Faith and Fire Faith. Alright, now what else? Stats. Look at stats real quick. Uh, so, that's all that. And then I have 414 Wisdom. I'm only going to read the stuff that matters, really. Uh, 6,000 HP with this, and 9,000 mana. It used to be more before the update, like it was over 10,000, but they... Like, debuffed monks once again, so... Spell attack, healing power, 874. And then, 
Crit chance is 311 and 34.1%, which used to be like 41% for the update. And uh, that's pretty much it for all my stats. So uh, I just wanted to make this video to show you guys like one last time all this stuff on my Monk uh, for 2012. So if I'm still making videos in a year from now, we can like compare how I've changed on my Monk. Um, so hopefully by this time or within the next few months, I'll have legendary gear. This is my friend Max. Oh yeah, shout out to Max Movado, Silent Reborn by the way. You wanted a shout out. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so uh, one more thing I wanted to say is that tomorrow I will be having the dance montage at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, uh, December 31st for America. And that's at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And the other times will be on the screen in annotations right now probably. Uh, so you guys, I hope you show up there. It's in silence and basically we're just going to start at silence. Start dancing and uh, just teleport to different places and then I'll edit it all together and add in a song. But that's pretty much it for this video. So thanks guys for watching and I will see you in 2013 with more commentaries. Happy New Year.